So, what is water kefir? It's a fermented fruit infused beverage. Can help with inflammation as well as having high probiotic contents which promote healthy bacteria in your gut. Is there a difference between kefir and kombucha? Yes, there is a difference. Kombucha is made with a mushroom, otherwise known as a scooby, and kefir is made with gel-like grains. They actually look a little bit like cauliflower florets. More I can't say because I have never actually made kombucha. First things first, you will need a huge glass jar and 12 cups of water. One cup sugar. Make sure your sugar is completely dissolved before you pour in your kefir beads. You can also melt your sugar in a little bit of hot water, but make sure your kefir water is at least at room temperature before you pour in your beads, otherwise they will disappear. They will melt. One cup kefir beads. Some people let their kefir beads sit at room temperature for a couple hours before they make kefir, but it's not something I do. I just use them straight out of the fridge. I almost forgot to mention when you put your kefir beads into your water, let them sit for two days. If you are new to making kefir and you just want a better time frame to know when to move on to the next step, you can also throw in one prune or a couple of raisins. And when I say a couple of raisins, I mean five or six. And when the prune and or majority of the raisins float, then you can move on to the next step. My kefir has now been sitting like this for three days, which I usually only go by two days, but three days is fine. That's okay, there is there's nothing wrong with it if you go an extra day. Now we move on to the next step. Remove your kefir beads and store in a container in the fridge. Add your fruit of choice. I choose raspberries. If it happens that you don't have any fruit on hand, you can also use juice. Substitute your fruit for juice. Anyone, any juice will do. And now let it sit for two more days in a warm place. The entire process of making kefir, you should make sure to keep it in a warm place. Oh, and don't, don't throw out your kefir beads. Put them into a container and store them in the fridge. You can make multiple batches of kefir and they can last you years. They will multiply like crazy and since you only need a cup, we usually end up giving away our kefir beads to somebody else that is interested in making kefir but doesn't have any beads. You can also throw another prune or raisins in with your fruit. Just make sure to throw them out once you are done with your steps. We are now on to the last and final step. Remove your fruit, throw it out or if you wish you can blend it and pour it back into your kefir although i find that i only have to do that when making pineapple kefir i feel that the blended pineapple adds extra flavor that would otherwise be missing from the kefir but with other fruits that i have used i have found that blending them was not necessary they had enough flavor without that extra step but if you feel like it's something that you should do or you want to do, that is up to you. You can make your kefir however you like it. There you have it. There is your kefir. Four beautiful bottles of kefir along with a mess, but that's fine. After bottling, some people put their kefir on their counter so that they get fizz. 
a lot faster but if you do that you have to remember to burp your key for otherwise it might explode on you and that has happened to me and it's not fun i i prefer to put mine in the fridge i'm not a fan of kefir that has too much fizz that's why i put it into the fridge so that i can control how much fizz it gets and how fast These are some things that could happen with your kefir and this is how you can avoid it. I actually got this question yesterday so I thought I might throw it in because maybe there's more people. Maybe more people will have that problem and are going to be wondering what to do about it. How fizzy is kefir supposed to be? It, they felt The person felt like their kefir wasn't fizzy enough. So if you feel like your kefir has been out for a couple of days and still you're not getting more fizz there's nothing there's nothing much really happening then something to check would be your sugar i have actually made some with a healthier sugar and i got little to almost no fizz in my kefir so i think it's best to use the regular white sugar another one would be my beads are not multiplying my beads are not growing Add a teaspoon of molasses to your kefir beads while they are sitting in the fridge. But keep in mind, you will then have to always add molasses. Another thing you can do is also put them in a jar of sugar water. And the sugar water ratio is one quarter cup sugar to four cups water. And the molasses or the sugar water, whichever method you prefer to use, helps feed your kefir beads. It's important to keep them fed and healthy. Healthy sweeteners are not the ideal thing when making kefir. Can often do more harm than good. I've also had the problem where when I made a batch of kefir, there was mold on top. If that happens, throw everything out, including the kefir beads and get fresh new beads. The problem with that could be is that there is a bacteria either in your bottles or there was one in your glass jar that you made your kefir. It's very important that you sterilize your bottles that you put the kefir in and the jar that you keep the kefir in while making it because if a bacteria gets in your kefir is ruined. You can basically throw it out. If kefir grains have multiplied and you wish to keep them for future batches, it is actually possible to dry your kefir beads and save them for later. Another problem that might arise is that your kefir is nor tastes normal, it looks beautiful, but it smells funny. That is normal. That is okay. It is normal for kefir to smell a bit funny and different. And if your kefir ends up doing this, it means that your kefir is over mineralized or it was sitting at room temperature for too long. So that concludes the video. I hope it was helpful. And if you are planning on making kefir, I wish you all the best. Actually, I also wish you all the best, even if you're not making kefir. So 